So, um, my brother Kojo is having problems with his girlfriend. Yes, Kojo lives in Colorado. He has been here for two months. I have been here for two months. We all came to America on the same day in the same plane, right? We are musicians. I play the chorus, Kojo plays the drum. Okay, we came here on the same program, right? We came here, the first two weeks we were here, Kojo fell in love with this lady. Her name is Mildred. And Mildred is a doctor. She's an American doctor who lives in Colorado. All right, we played in a school in a place called Boulder in Colorado. And after the show, Mildred fell in love with my brother Kojo. And now they are living together. And I'm in California and I'm almost barely trying to make it up because I want to get to Hollywood so bad. And it's not easy to get there, right? Kojo is living in an air conditioned house in Boulder, Colorado. And I'm, you know, I can't even say what. <laughs> where I live in. <laughs> but the bottom line is the bottom line, right? Now check this out, right? Kojo's English is terrible. Kojo can barely speak English. My English is a little bit okay, all right? At least I can, I can understand a little bit when people talk and I can speak a little bit. But Kojo can't even speak at all. His English is terrible, right? So Mildred thought, because my English is a little bit okay, she thought if she has any problem with Kojo, I'll be the best person to talk to. I'm like the unofficial therapist to her, and I can actually break down whatever she tells me to Kojo, right? So she called me this morning, early morning, and she said, Kwesi, I need to talk to you so bad. I said, yeah, what's up, Mildred, what's going on? What's cooking? <laughs> then she said, you know, your brother is acting very crazy. I don't know what is going on. You know, yesterday I wanted to go down on him and he freaked out and he thought I was going to bite him or something. He even wanted to call the cops on me and he was really freaking out. I said, wait, 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 wait. He said, yesterday what? He said, oh, you know, yesterday night, you know how couples do? We were in the bedroom and I wanted to go down on him. See, I don't understand what going down means. But I also don't want her to think I don't know. Because I'm posing to be the guy who speaks quite a little bit good English and understands a little bit better. Right? How am I going to be Kojo's teacher if I cannot even understand Mildred? So I was just trying to do my job as a guy who kind of have a little bit of an idea of what was going on. So what I did was I wrote going down. I took a pen and paper and I wrote going down. And I told Mildred, I said, Mildred, okay, so he acted crazy because you wanted to go down? I said, yes. You need to talk to him, all right? Because I, I meant nothing. He, he, he's calling me all sorts of names. He said, I'm the witch, I'm this, I'm that, and he wants to leave. Like, he wants to live and go where? No, he says he wants to come to you in California. I'm like, whoa, tell him not to. <laughs> Please, give me one day. Tell him I will talk to him in a day. So, I don't own a computer in my house. So, I cannot Google going down, right? So, I needed to buy a day. <laughs> so that I can go to the computer tomorrow at the library and I can check going down. So, 8 o'clock the next day I went to the library. The library opens at 8. I was right there as soon as they got open. I walked in. Lord and behold, I was the only person at the library at then, right? I walked straight to the computer and I googled going down. Oh my Lord! The graphic, the image of what I saw about going down was so scary. Was so oh my, trauma. My, like, like my head, like, like, like the woman literally have the mountain in her mouth. In her mouth! Like she's going to bite the thing or something. I'm like, so within three seconds, I'm like, dilly, 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 dilly. I'm like, hoo, 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 hoo. I made so much noise that the, the, the attendant, the library attendant, has to rush to me. She thought I was going to die. She thought I was having a panic attack or something because I was shaking. I was so scared. So she came to me. Lord and behold, by the time she got to me, I've already deleted everything, right? And she said, What's going on? I'm saying, Oh, oh, I just couldn't operate this thing well, uh, but it's all good now. I said, oh, but how come everything is off? Because you know what? I unplugged, I unplugged the computer, everything. I put everything off. I was that scared because once I sat at the library, I saw a sign says no pornographic materials are allowed here. And look at me looking at that. And I didn't even know that going down meant something pornographic. And worst of all, what I saw, the graphic image of what I saw, I was like, whoa, I need to go home. I need to hurry up. I need to run away. You know, and if, if, if leaving the library, I couldn't even walk straight. I have to bang and walk that way because my team was also trying to react. So I have to walk, you know. <laughs> I couldn't even walk straight. Yes, it was powerful, man. 
It's amazing what the media can do to the mind, man. My mind was so messed up. The thing was just trying to jump up from my back, and I need to walk like an old man, like slowly, low tempo, even though I live only three blocks from the library. It took me like 40 minutes to get to my house. I normally do that in three minutes. Yes, I was just so slow, so slow, because I can't get up. You get the point? So I finally got home. I took the phone. And I called Kojo. I said, Kojo, I want to say, that is how are you doing in my language. He said, hey, Quincy, I'm going to get a bus ticket. I'm coming to you right now. I'm like, hey, Kojo, Kojo, relax, relax. Coming to me for what? She says, oh, good, uh, Quincy, Mildred, she's a witch. She's a witch. She wanted to bite my tin yesterday night. She really wanted to bite my tin. She wanted to eat the tin. I said, what tin? She said, yeah, you know, we were in the bedroom and she wanted to bite the tin. So then I said, oh, Kojo. In fact, I spoke to Mildred yesterday about this same thing. That is why I'm calling you. Um, but I've done my little research about the tip. And I don't think he meant to bite it. Because obviously, when I first saw it, I thought the same thing too. But apparently, that is how people here make love. It's a way of foreplay. I never knew it myself until I did my little research. Nobody has bitten mine, best to your knowledge. And mine is still intact. And I hope yours is still intact and it's not bitten yet. But I doubt she's going to bite it because she's a doctor and she will not bite it. Yes, doctors don't do that. They don't bite people. They are doctors. They take care of people who are bitten. You know what I'm saying? That is a job. <laughs> so Kojo is so confused. I'm confused too because I'm still being traumatized by what I saw visually. You see, the way we learn about sex, most of us who grew up in the village, like me and my brother Kojo, when you're a teenager, right, between the ages of like, yeah, adolescent age, right, between the ages of like, say, 13 to 16, all the men are taken to initiation camp, right? Let's say we were taken there for like a month or two, and we have elderly grown men who are there to teach us. It's, it's a transition into manhood. So if your family is a farming community, you learn how to farm. It's a fishing community, they teach you how to fish. They teach you how to build because we have mad houses. We learn all those home management skills. The same for the woman, all right? Anytime any young girl has, has her first menstrual period, right? Anytime she has her first blood, her mother takes her to the queen mother's palace. It's the responsibility of the mother. The girl has to report to the mom anytime she has that. The first time, because it's scary. She has never had a thing like that before. And the mother will take her to the queen mother's palace. And let's say in four months, two months, three months, they get six, seven girls, depending on what time, you know, how many girls they get. They also go through the same situation where they will get an elderly woman, depending on the size, who will take them to the edge of the forest. And they are also trained how to become women. They are trained. They are taught about what they are going through. So it's, it's literally, they go there, and when they come back, they literally become women. They are trained. They are taught about it. It's a home management school. So that is what we know. But when I went to the initiation camp with my brother Kojo, you know, nobody told it that you can use the mouth on the thing. No, never. Never did I hear about such a thing. Never did I saw such a thing until I saw it now. So yes, I'm terrified. I am terrified too. But I believe Mildred is not going to buy the thing. Yes, I believe she's not. But it's very scary. Yes, yes. Thank you all. My time is up. Have a wonderful night. Peace.